This tiny house right here behind me is one of the smaller ones I've shown on this channel. At around 160 square feet of living space, there is not a lot to work with. I wonder how they did it all. Let's go check it out. We're now here at Now Here, Texas. That's the name of these tiny house cabins in Round Mountain, Texas, close to Fredericksburg or close to Austin, Texas. We're in the hill country. We're on this private piece of property that has four tiny house cabins. They're all the same. We're gonna be checking it out today. So if there's dates you want to come and visit these, surely they will be available since there are several to pick from. And these are really cool tiny house cabins. Very, very small footprint, about 160 square feet of living space. I believe it is 8 by 20-ish. Those are the rough dimensions. I don't know the exact, but very, very small space to work with. And the smaller the space, the more exciting it is. Whenever you pull up on the property, very long driveway. It's gated so only guests can come in and out. You'll park your car in the parking lot. They leave some wagons here for you to lug your luggage around. And I like this a lot. I don't like when cars can block the view of the cabin and you have a big car around your property. So this makes it feel very private. But you'll walk down the path and you'll reach your beautiful cabin. I really think these are just gorgeous with the black vertical wood cladding all around the single pitched roof and then this huge glass window in the front. It is very very, very beautiful looking. You'll walk up on this deck space. There's a couple seating options out here, and I really like how they use these huge stone rocks as steps. It incorporates the environment into this cabin, and it always looks good. There's a cool feature about this door. You can leave this wooden door open, and you have your glass front door right here, or if you don't want the light coming in through the glass door like at night, you can just close this up, and now it's a sleek, black-looking box cabin. We'll keep it open, though, because we like the natural light. And then we can walk down to your private hot tub. This is a wood fire hot tub, the most beautiful one I have ever seen. I'm really liking the wood cladding on the side of this with the metal frame. It matches the cabin perfectly. It's tucked around these trees and it is a wood fired cabin. So you can get wood, put it in here, the slot, light on fire, and it takes about an hour for the water to heat up. And you can smell the wood as it's burning. The smokestack is really cool. This is big enough for two guests. You can see the wood slats on either side for you and whoever to lay against and just really enjoy your time. Or if it's really, really hot, you know, it gets over 100 degrees in Texas, you can just use it as a plunge pool. The water was 80 degrees whenever I checked it without the fire being on. So it's pretty hot as is. Looks great. I like this feature a lot and it just pairs so well with this cabin that can house two guests. So let's walk inside this front door and check out the interior. Walking inside, the space in here is definitely tiny, which is what we like. This first area is your main area. You have your bed, which is the most beautiful part in this cabin over here on your right side. King size bed, plenty of space. It takes up this entire section. There's not room on either side of the bed. So it's really cozy in here. It's like a little uh, bed nook. And then of course the huge glass window right behind this bed for those beautiful views, the beautiful aesthetic. And of course you can close these at night with these curtains you just close them up and there's no more window so it's very private in here two lights on each side as well which is nice and then this all faces your other half of this main section which is kind of your kitchen dining area this wall right here is a huge mirror in the middle and there's two doors on both sides this right side is the door to your kitchenette it's a very small kitchen you open it up we have a microwave on top coffee supplies here in the middle and a very small countertop here and then a mini fridge down below so very, very minimalistic kitchen. You'll be using this if you go out to eat and you bring home your leftovers to warm up or to just prep a very simple, simple meal. So this encourages you to go out and explore the area around, which who wouldn't want to do that anyway? Who wants to cook a large meal on a romantic vacation? This is just here for your necessities. They do leave some cups and some utensils as well for your coffee. Very nice. And if you need more countertop space, right below the AC unit is a fold-out dining table. Really cool feature. Blends right in with the wall. You just open up this little wooden latch and the table falls down and you have a much larger countertop space to work with. You can sit on the edge of the bed and eat here if you want and this is just a cool feature and how you can fold it away if you don't need it because it does take up a lot of space. An AC unit works amazingly since this is a small space on a 110 degree day. It was 104 degrees yesterday when I was here and the AC works amazing. Very cold and crisp inside. And then the left door right here walks through your closet and bathroom space. 
Yes, there is a closet in this tiny cabin. Right here between your bedroom and your bathroom space, there is a place to hang your clothes, set your stuff down. They have robes here. There's a trash can down below. A pretty large cubby for a closet space. A lot of cabins don't even have closets, so the fact that this tiny house has one is pretty cool. And then we can continue along, and this is your bathroom. They have a full bathroom here. It's incredible. The vanity right here on this left side is a cool cylindrical vanity with the mirror that goes from floor to ceiling right behind it. The cool lights that inlay in the corner are a nice touch and then your towels are on this left side. And then your black toilet here in the middle, that's pretty cool. And then a shower on this right side, full walk-in shower. There's this concrete look all around, waterfall, shower head. It's pretty close to my head. I'm 5'10", so if you're a really tall guy, you're gonna be crouching in here glass wall right here there's even the glass door you can open and close and then a shelf for all of your shampoos and stuff so this is a very functional bathroom even though it's pretty small you can get in and out very easily this isn't off the grid at all there's cold and hot water the septic and electric you have it all here so bathroom the closet and that was your main space and that is everything inside of this cabin it's neat to see how you can make 160-ish square feet of living space work. So definitely here for a nice romantic couple retreat. Perfect space because there's not a lot to mess up. You can lay here with this huge bed and just enjoy your time here. And it's a beautiful cabin. If we look back on the exterior, this is one of my favorite looks, black wood cladding exterior. Now there is a nice large community area. If we walk down the pass, this building is epic looking. It looks like a castle kind of. This bottom section is all open air and it's huge, massive dining table here in the middle and on this back wall. You can do some cooking if you want. So if you bring steaks or something, come here to the community area, open up these grills and start cooking. There's even a huge sink in the middle. This is a cool space to have and a button. If we go on top, walk up the stairs, huge deck space. The owner said this isn't quite complete while I'm here, so I'm sure there's gonna be a really fun area to hang out up here. But the best part is at the very end, there's a huge hammock. Open up this metal gate. This hammock could lay probably 10 people. It's that large. It is the largest hammock I have seen. Come up here, enjoy your time, lay out in the stars. If you and your friends book several of these cabins, this community area would be really, really cool. And there's also a fire pit out here as well. It matches the tiny house, it fits right in, and it looks epic. New segment, we're gonna be rating the checkout instructions. This should be fun. These ones say, turn off lights and AC, and dispose of extra garbage to the trash can located over here. And that's it, that is a very simple uh, checkout list. The only difficult thing is taking your trash away from your house. I give us an 8 out of 10. A 10 out of 10 would be no check out instructions. That's it. Bada bing, bada boom. If you want to book this place, the link is down in the description below. And guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next week in another Airbnb tour.